Welcome back to Better Down Yourself. Today on Better Down Yourself, fried rice. I buy the stuff at the restaurant and I'm always disappointed. It ends up being just kind of some, some soggy eggs and peas and carrots and they, sometimes they don't even put any ginger in it. Making fried rice at home is super simple. You just need to follow a couple basic techniques. You can whip up some fried rice pretty quickly. I think Asian fried rice is better done yourself. Let's take a look at what we need. The ingredients for the stir fry are about a half a package of bacon, a couple of eggs, garlic, ginger, onion, carrots, celery. Some green onions are nice to finish it with. Rice, of course. This is rice that I made yesterday and left in the refrigerator overnight. Some kind of meat. You can use pork, chicken, beef, whatever you like. And then some spices, pepper, soy sauce, or you can go with liquid aminos if you don't like soy sauce. Uh, this is a, a nice alternative. A little bit of sesame oil some sesame seeds to finish it with, and then finally oil. We're gonna be frying. I like to use avocado oil. It's got a real high smoke point, and it's actually kind of good for you. So you'll see me using oil in this video. I'm gonna be using avocado oil. First thing I wanna do is get started on the meat. You can, like I said, you can use anything. I'm just using a couple of pork chops that I found on sale at the supermarket and cut them up. Um, sprinkle in a little bit of cornstarch, and then I don't know, two tablespoons of soy sauce and stir this around. We'll let this set while we cut up the vegetables. Peel the carrots and cut them up. Once you've got the carrots peeled, you can go ahead and trim them. Just take not up. Take the ends off. Take all your carrots and quarter them. And then you can cut them into pieces. Carrots are done. Celery, this celery has been washed and trimmed. Just split them in half. If you like, the other thing that's fun to do with the celery is cut it on a bias. So you get this shape, or sort of this shape. With these, you just get little squares. All your pieces should be generally the same size. So, close enough. Next is your onion. Cut it in half. Cut the root out at a diagonal. Cut the top off straight. Peel the paper off. Cut pieces about the same size as the carrots and onion. Uh, cut pieces about the same size that P 
piece is about the same size as the carrots and celery. Same for the second half. For the ginger, some people like to peel it. I like to just take off the dirty parts. This has actually been rinsed. Um, depending on how much you like ginger, I don't know, that's two thumbs worth maybe. Just chop it up. You can cut discs. And then mash them. Probably enough ginger. Um, this is probably about a third of a cup of ginger. You may not want to use this much, but we like it. I'm using a lot. Same goes for garlic. I've got probably a dozen garlic cloves here. You can use the mash technique. Um, this garlic has been frozen, which is why it's this color. If you're using fresh garlic, just peel it first and do the same thing. Once you've got all your veg chopped, you can start on the eggs and bacon. Pepper. You'll see what's going to happen with the eggs in a minute. Bacon. We'll use, oh, half package. Remember when I said I was using avocado oil because it's healthy for you? I lied. I'm using bacon fat. It's delicious. Next is the rice. This rice has been in the fridge overnight, and as you can see, I can break it up really easily. The refrigeration of the rice makes changes in the starch structure of the rice itself. You know, you save that rice from the Chinese restaurant and overnight, and you try to eat it the next morning, and it's a very different product. It is. We're using that to our advantage in this dish. All right, next we cook. I've got my wok on pretty high heat. 
I really want to cook, render this bacon out pretty quickly. And I don't want to get it so hot that I burn the, the oil. Like I said, I'm going to be using the grease to, to cook the rest of the dish in. But cook it like you would normally cook bacon, other than the fact that it's cut up into little bits. And when you get a nice brown on it, cut the heat and just drain it off into a separate bowl. I think what I'll do is pour the whole thing into this little bowl and then I can strain the bacon fat into a, into a separate container. There we go. That'll work. So let's add, oh, about a tablespoon of oil and we can start cooking our ingredients. I like to cook everything separately when I make fried rice. I don't cook it all together until the very end. So first goes in the, the garlic. Gentle on the garlic. Don't burn it. As soon as you burn this garlic, it's going to turn brown. It's going to turn black and it's going to be bitter, and it's awful. So just enough to give it a little bit of a, kind of like cooking onions, you know, that, that cook until translucent, same game here. Ginger, um, I'm using way too much. I told you, you'll probably want to use, I don't know, a tablespoon, two tablespoons. I've got about five tablespoons here, but we love this stuff. So again, just get a little teeny bit of brown on it, and um, you're really, I mean, it's going to be, in the bottom of the pan here. I'm going to cook the rest of the vegetables here. I've got the celery, I've got my carrots, and finally the onions. Basic mirepoix. For those of you that took French cooking, uh, I use the same thing in my in my fried rice. But we're just going to cook this, give it a little toss. Um, you do know how to do a, a, a pan toss, right? It's real handy when you're cooking with a wok. But we'll just cook this down. That pan toss is, uh, you know, you can see, if you watch me do it, I'll do it again here for you in a minute. But tip the pan away and down, and then you're going to want to kind of slide everything forward, and you make sort of a circle with your hand. You're going you're gonna to go around, and you sort of toss it you, further away from you, and then a little flick of the wrist, and bring it up all at the same time, and you can... It takes practice. <laughs> My chef used to tell me, take a, take a pan full of beans and, uh, you know, just dried, dried beans and try tossing those. But just keep, uh, keep cooking it. This is probably, I've cut this down quite a bit. I'm guessing about eight minutes, ten minutes worth of cooking these vegetables. But I'm sauteing them over high heat. And again, just kind of cook until carrots are tender and the onions turn a little translucent. All right. Dump that out into a separate bowl. We'll add some more of our bacon grease and let's cook the pork. Remember the pork we had, this was marinating in some cornstarch and some soy sauce. So I drained that off and I didn't need, want to add all of that extra fluid, all that liquid to the pan. I just want to get a nice brown on this. Cooking meat, add salt, not a lot, just Always add a little bit of salt while you're while you're cooking meat. Again with the with the pan toss, just kind of tip it down and away from yourself, and then get everything. So cook this until you get a nice brown on it. You'll get a sizzle. Again, you don't really need to cook it until it's done. Um, it's gonna go back into the final product. But this, go ahead and dump it off into your into your side bowl. Next, let's work on the eggs. Basically what I'm going to do is, a, is like a pepper omelet. I've got a frying pan that I've greased, about half the egg mixture. This is egg, salt and pepper, a lot of pepper, but salt and pepper nonetheless. Basically what I want to do here is just make kind of like a crepe. Just a very thin, flat, scrambled egg. Kind of like you, like you would do an omelet almost. Just until it cooks through. You'll see, you can kind of see how the, the egg starting to set up here. Just run the uncooked part off onto the, the pan edges and really takes, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook these and we'll go ahead with, once you get them cooked, remove them off to your cutting board. Do the same thing with the, with the sec second half of the eggs. You really kind of screwed that one up. I shouldn't have touched it with the pan. You can see the first one, second one, a little bit better luck on. But here, so just go ahead and roll these up. And well, I guess sort of roll it up. And what we want to do is just kind of make it easy to cut. What I want to do is just cut these little noodles. And I think this is a real nice presentation for your, for your fried rice. Just these little kind of egg noodles, these little peppery egg bits are delicious in the fried rice. 
A lot of people just pour the eggs into the rice or they cook the eggs and scrambled eggs and make like egg curds. I don't like that at all. I think these are really nice. It's a nice fine product. Add these to your to your work bowl here where you've got all your ingredients. Add some more fat to the pan. Get it good and hot. Swirl the coat up the sides. And go ahead with your rice. And again, I don't like to add the rice with the other vegetables. I've got the other vegetables cooked. What I want to do here is actually fry the rice. I've got a fair amount of oil in the bottom of this pan, and I'm really just going to fry the rice. I want to dry it a little bit. I want to crisp it up a little bit. I've got a good amount of starch in this rice and the hot fat and a little bit of turning and some high heat, and I can get a nice crisp rice. Once I've got it so it's a little crispy, go ahead and add everything else, everything from that work bowl that we were, were dumping in. Here's our fried bacon from our grease bowl. And now just finally stir everything together. We're in the home stretch now. We've got all our ingredients. We cooked everything separately so that we could cook everything the way we wanted it. Cook everything to the perfect degree of doneness. So we're just about done. Let's add some soy sauce. This, like I said, is my, my Bragg's Aminos. Add in a little bit of sesame oil. Good amount and get everything stirred together real nice. Get that soy sauce stirred up so it, it browns the rice a little bit more. Once you've got everything mixed together, go ahead and plate this up. Put this in your favorite bowls here. And the final ingredient, just a topping of some toasted sesame seeds. This is purely optional, but they're pretty and it, it gives the rice bowl a nice, a nice flavor. Hotel style fried rice. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you get a chance to make it and come up with some unique ingredients of your own. Please subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I come out with new recipes and new videos. And as always, leave your comments. I love your comments. Thanks for watching, guys.